One of the most common questions I get asked about my stained glass window hangings is, won't the fabrics fade in the sun? The short answer to that is yes, but the longer answer, it's a bit more complicated. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the stained glass window hangings and when they fade in the sun. Welcome to Eva's Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So if you've seen my stained glass window hangings made out of fabric, uh, you might have been interested and wanted to try it, but you also might have been worried about what if I make them and then they fade in the sun? Will the fabrics fade? So the short answer to that is, Yes, the fabrics will fade in the sun. So I'm not gonna sit here and guarantee to you that your project is something that is gonna last for 50 or 100 years. So even though, yes, your rental hangings will fade in the sun, I'm okay with that. And this is why I'm fine with that and it doesn't really bother me. So I have a piece here. This is a sample of a window hanging. And this is one that was hanging in a window for over seven years. And so you can see it's faded, um, especially on this green fabric. You can see, um, you can see on the other end, especially in this part where it was not in the sun, you can clearly see where the edge of the window was. So this is clearly much more faded than that. But if you just look at the part um, without the uh, original fabric, it doesn't look bad. Even though it is faded, it still looks nice. So that's the first thing is that even when they're faded, they still look fine. They don't look exactly the same as when it's brand new, but they still look nice. And in fact, if you look at um, many uh, Pojagi artists that are online, sometimes they'll make an entire piece out of just white fabric. And so it's the stained glass lines that give it the design. And so just because it's faded doesn't mean it doesn't look nice. Uh, the second reason why I'm okay with that is sometimes I might want to change up my decor and this is a quick and easy way to change your decor um, seasonally or if you just want to try out different colors because this piece is not a huge commitment to make. It's not a huge commitment of time and it's not a huge commitment of money. It's not at all the same as making a quilt or even making like traditional drapes. Uh, one of my most popular patterns is called Glimmer. And this piece, it uses six quarter yards. So that's basically a yard and a half of fabric. And I have had even beginners finish this whole piece in a three hour workshop. So even if you're really slow, it might take you six or eight hours. But if a project takes you um, six hours and a yard and a half of fabric, and then you use it every day for a year, and then you get tired of it and you wanna try something else, that's not a bad investment for something that you use for a year. So I encourage people to don't think of this as like a permanent thing that is gonna be up in your house for 50 years. Feel free to change with different colors, different designs, depending on your mood. And this is these are things that you can take up and down depending on how you feel and change them out. And the last reason why I'm okay with window hangings fading is because when you use things, they do eventually wear out. You're not gonna expect um, a washcloth to last for a long time or tea towel or even placemats. It's, it's, if it's something you're using on a regular basis, it will wear out. That is just a fact of life. So I would rather use something every day and enjoy it and know that eventually it will wear out than to have something in mint condition and keep it stuck away in a closet where nobody can see it, nobody can touch it, but I know it's gonna stay in perfect condition. I would rather make something and use it and enjoy it. Yeah, so this is not the type of piece that is gonna be an heirloom 50 years from now, 100 years from now. This is something that you can make and enjoy. And then if it starts to fade, if you don't like it anymore, then you can upcycle it into something else. 
So if you have a piece that is faded, you don't really like the look of it anymore, you don't like it in the window, then there are lots of other things you can do with it. You can use it as a wrapping cloth, use it to wrap up a gift to give to somebody, or even just to carry things as you're out and about. Think of other things you can use the fabric for besides a window hanging, so it's not just becoming waste. And of course, the amount of time it will take for your fabric to fade depends on a lot of things. It depends on the type of fabric, the dye that's in the fabric. It depends on the direction of your window and where you live in the world. So there are a lot of variables, so I can't give you a guarantee on that. I have seen products that say you can treat your fabric and that will stop it from fading. I've never used any of those, so I don't have a personal recommendation for that, um, but you can feel free to try that. So let me know what you think. Would you wanna make something knowing that eventually the fabrics are gonna fade, or would you say, no, I don't wanna even bother with a project like that? I'm really interested in hearing other people's opinions about this type of thing. If you want to try a project with this technique, you can click the link below to go to my website and you can see tutorials for how to get started and easy beginner projects and then more advanced patterns that you can do. So these and lots of other Pochagi inspiration and patterns can be found at evenestudio.com.